Come on, dog. We need to come back, man. Hold up, hold up. Oh, oh, watch your ankles, baby. Watch it. Oh, got him. Oh, 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 got him. What the? Bro, bro, bro. What? No. Yep. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. It's time to get your comment fingers ready, man. It's time to talk about NBA 2K, the playground. Once again, I'm at the playground at a place that I do not even belong. I should have not even come here. Now, the little bit of backstory to this is the simple fact that I'm currently in Canada working on uh, game testing another game, and I decided to hop on 2K and record a little bit of gameplay. Now, you see that I'm playing with Mr. Reese's Puff and Ace Federal. We are completely outmatched position wise because we're running with two PGs and a small forward, but they do have a stretch five, so I really don't believe in his paint game. But throughout this video, you will see the reason why 2K is unplayable at certain points in this video. Now, I know you guys seen the intro of this video, and you're probably like, bruh, I, you just can't believe you just saw that. But there's a reason to this story. There's a reason why so many players are quote and unquote trash at 2K or why they blame 2K or even the simple fact that some people say that 2K is unplayable. Now, let me give you guys the green light to say whatever you want inside the comment section. I won't delete any comments. I won't hold any comments for review, none of that. Comment how you truly feel about NBA 2K18 as when it launched, prelude, whatever you feel right now, however you may feel. But I want to give you guys my interpretation of why 2K is the way it is. Now we all know that the PS4 Pro has dropped a while back and the Xbox X is dropping, you know, probably in like the last, what, couple weeks now that the Xbox X has been out. Now check this out. A lot of people when the game first came out said that they were getting jitters and frame rate drops at the playground. Now a lot of people that I know said that they had the PS4 Pro and they weren't catching any frame drops. Now, this right here is to show that if you have a PlayStation 4 Pro, you have an already set advantage at playing at the park where the frames drop the most. Frames don't drop much in Pro-Am, but when you're at the park, frames drop all the time. You guys can see it in this gameplay that frames are actually dropping. This is recorded. This is on record. Now, the second thing, I play on a one millisecond response rate uh, monitor for computer gaming, right? Now, a lot of my friends, family, even, you know, people that are in the gaming world say that they play on regular televisions. Now, these people who say that they play on regular televisions always complain about how the game is trash and how your player is doing what they're not supposed to be doing when you're pressing certain buttons. Guess what, guys? I am currently a victim of that. If you guys are watching this gameplay, this gameplay was recorded while playing on a Sony Bravia TV. Not my BenQ gaming monitor with one millisecond response rate. It, this is from playing on the TV. So that clip that you guys seen when I broke his ankles and I still ran into him and turned the ball over, even though that's one of the worst things that 2K have ever introduced to this game, which is the bump steal. I only lost the ball because of my response time on my television in my front room. I, I, I just can't explain how it happened, but the reason why I was playing on my Sony Bravia TV was the simple fact that I was moving my gaming setup to another location from my office and I couldn't play on my monitor that day. And this is the reason why I got that stupid behind bump still because 2k is made to play better on ps4 pros and also for people with one millisecond response time gaming monitors that people can't even afford we already spent 400 dollars on consoles and now we have to spend more money for a monitor to play better leave your comment below